Welcome to Goldwyn Dinner Club. I'm Griff. I'm Parker. And today we have some special guests. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Sir, I'm Lindsay Smallbutera. I'm Alex Smallbutera. And we're the, those guys that we made the thing. We did. They made the thing. Yeah. <laughs> they made the very game that we're looking at and that Griff is going to play for. Let's boot it up. <laughs> Later, alligator. It's still so weird to see it on like a Switch screen. I'm like, whoa, cool. <laughs> And look at this beautiful intro. And is the company named Small B Boo, yes. right? The umlaut? Because it's a tiny little ghost. <laughs> Slick title cards. Thanks, bro. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this game is uh, so charming. I had a, a chance to play the <laughs> Switch and the PC. <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. Alex's mom was on the train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was the very first thing we did for the whole thing was make this intro. <laughs> That's a smart way to go about it. You're just like, there. There it is, everything. <laughs> now we just have to pro now we have to fulfill whatever promise this made. <laughs> yeah. I find doing the hardest thing first, getting it like out of the way, like the thing I'm like, oh god about is is more helpful to me because then I'm like, well that's done, everything else is, is a cakewalk, so That's interesting. I'm always telling people do the easy shit first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm like, and then go back to the hard stuff because I think for a lot of creative people you're staring at the, the really hard thing and going, I don't want to do that. And I'm like, just waste time doing the easy stuff and come back. I get it. I get it. But you jump right in. i got to get that albatross off my, my neck, if you know what I mean. Because otherwise I'll think yeah, about it's it like, too much. It's like the classic, uh, you know, school coach saying, do, do all your homework and then you can have fun. <laughs> I'm that it's guy. Like, okay. <laughs> Except That's this is me. like, do all your work and then you can do your work. <laughs> And then you can do more work. Your reward. Thanks, coach. Let's talk to this alligator. Aw. This Pat. Oh, okay. <laughs> so move this around. That's your little hand. Yeah, it's like a it's like a Professor Layton or like a Phoenix Wright type game. It's absolutely okay. Professor Layton. Click on that. Uh, click on the help screen. Everybody for doesn't do it, and it's really funny. <laughs> oh, is there something oh, really? on the help screen? Let's see it. <laughs> 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 I've never seen this. That's good. It's Final Friend City. <laughs> anyway, yeah. <laughs> so, here's this other game you can't play. Oh, we should make this game. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I Final guess we have Friend to now. Is that the sequel? I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. I like that this guy has, uh, you know, he's got all the tools of the trade, but he also has mints. Yeah, he's to keep polite. Keep his breath real fresh. Player character is a polite um, person, I feel. <laughs> Not even one hablo. <laughs> Just keep bugging him. Yeah. Griff's like, I'll do something else. <laughs> he's real. Griff is really respectful of like he's, people he's consenting to, to conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe in the future everyone will be so polite and so respectful of boundaries that this game will, you, they'll never get past the first screen. No. Because this guy says, leave me alone, and you refuse to persist. It's like, well done. Yeah, I don't think that would mind. <laughs> That's an okay way to be. I think that game. is, it's, yeah, it is it is kind of an ending in that it's way. It's true. The finality of it would be, it would be fine. You wouldn't know what happened, but you could assume it all worked out, shook out all right in the end. There he goes. 
When he gets all worried, he has those kind of like, um, I call them butthole eyes. <laughs> or like Rick and Morty. Do you, do you know what I'm talking yes. about? I've heard people call them a million, like asterisk eyes, um, starfish eyes, but I've always called them butthole eyes. <laughs> it's very um, evocative. Yeah, it's just say what it is. <laughs> Let's be like, real he looks here. Like he's gonna, he looks like he's going to have an attack. <laughs> Pat's had a rough time. He's had a, a long time. Yeah, journey. there it is. <laughs> I love what you guys do uh, in your uh, animation style. There's this, like, wonderfully graphic, but still super, like, volume quality to everything that is so, um, I don't know, it's just very unique. Thank you. Like, I can, I, I can tell when I'm looking at something that y'all have animated. Thank you so much. In the best possible way. Like, I like how all of this is, like, that right there is so super graphic, <laughs> but there is the volume of how the arms extend, and then the elbows rest on the table. And that, especially, when he turns his head and we're seeing the top of it, but it's still all these simple shapes, very smoothly done. It's incredibly, it's satisfying in the way that, like, when a Peanuts character lifts their head up and screams, <laughs> and you can only see their wow. mouth. Wow, really good compliment here, feeling that really good <laughs> in my heart. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, yeah that's no, like, it's the, Lindsay's, oh, sorry, go ahead, um, Lindsay's so good at that graphic flat art, and I had zero ability to draw like that, and then we start working together, and I'm like, I wonder, I wonder if I could like turn this around, and then it's like, it's her art is so awesome and flat that turning it around is a new kind of puzzle, so yeah, that's yeah, super fun. It's really fun. We come. Yeah, I, I'm obsessed with that. <laughs> kind of uh, the, the math problem of that too, but you guys do it in such a way that it's uh, it's just always impressive and like, it's like looking at those, um, you ever go to Instagram and just like troll the, the Gunpla tag and look at all the beautiful Gundams? Yes. And then there's always somebody who's like painting them with like, you know, markers and making them look like a 2D drawing, even though they're a 3D object. Yeah. You're revealing my Instagram it's... habits here pretty hardcore, but yes, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. That's what I do. <laughs> I'm, that's that's just me. That's just what I do. I enjoy looking at that stuff because it's so. Uh, it just is satisfying. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna bother him. Yeah, Alex and I come from two really different schools of thought on like design stuff. So when we like got together and started working together, it just like mm -hmm. we it, it became so natural to do this in between kind of stuff like. I, I don't know if mm -hmm. I love doing it though. It's always like super interesting. It's never boring. Yeah, I think that's, you know, it, it sounds like sort of a simple thing to say it's, it's interesting, but it, yeah, it, it is, it's interesting. And that, that, that weird sort of challenge of, uh, how do I make this move around in volume is what makes it like endlessly appealing. Thank I think. you. And like, it's- That's the name of the game. <laughs> It's there. there it is. There it is. In case you forgot. I forgot. Isn't this city called just like Alligator, New York yes, City? Yes, this is Alligator, New York City. Welcome. Okay. I want to make sure I got it right. Everything is just Alligator. Like there's Alligator Starbucks, Alligator Subway. There's an art to how many times you can put Alligator in front of stuff for a joke. I had to like make sure I wasn't overusing it because it's too funny still. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta space it out. There is one, um, there, the, full disclosure, I have played and, and completed this game, <laughs> and there is one puzzle, there's one, like, mini game in it that, uh, I will never forgive you <laughs> oh, all. I'm sorry for already. What can, you, we, can we guess? For what you did. So now, this is where I get to confront you. Yes, you, you know what it is. Okay. You can you guess, but I think you You I sound like you someone know. who doesn't like sliding block puzzles. I'm sorry about that. Actually, I am the opposite what? of that. What? Yeah! I am somebody... I am somebody who loves sliding block puzzles, and the game kept interrupting me and telling me, do you want to skip it, when I was nailing it. And uh, I just got, I got really upset at that game. But there, the one, the last one, it's like so mean, uh, where you need to get certain pieces all the way from like the top right all the way around. It was so dense that I'm like, there's no other way to do it but, the, but to do it this way. So the fact that the guy interrupts you that soon, I'm like, Screw you, buddy. I got this. I'm doing it. I could do that Wind Waker sliding block puzzle section in record time. I believe I you. I love them. Bring them on. 
I believe it. So yeah, that's that's my one and only bonus <laughs> pick. Everything else was everything else was an utter delight, and the comedy and the writing is like uh, just it's really well done. It has like that slightly meta quality, but it isn't overbearing, and it's actually kind of it's sweet even when it's being like. Uh, observant about something that maybe isn't perfect. It's still like, yeah, but that's just kind of how it is with some of these characters, and I appreciate that. I had a, when I, when I wrote all the, when I, when I wrote it, I had like in mind kind of like, um, the style of humor being, um, like everything kind of like up to the ante of the last thing you said, like when you're talking mm -hmm. to the guys, so it's like sort of like, it takes you on like, <laughs> you say something and you have to kind of like, be like, oh, I kind of lost my train of thought there, but you know, you get it. It's like a, a, each each mm -hmm. extended part of the conversation is kind of like um, interrupting the last one. And I found that to be like, create a lot of really funny stuff. So I was, I was happy with that. Yeah, it worked really well. I can't say there was any line where I'm like, oh, I just want to get through this. I'm like, <laughs> this is all pretty, like really well-crafted, funny, like, uh, it just reminded me of like all the best kind of indie comics that I've read where I'm like, this is sharp stuff. I appreciate it. Um, Cause a lot of people, when I uh, watch it on Twitch and they're just clicking through really fast, I, I die inside a little bit. Yeah, well it's like, that's the, it's like, that's that, well Griff is definitely not one to read, but it's like, <laughs> like so I can't speak for him, but like, for me, I'm like, no, that's, that's the game. And it's the same way with a lot of adventure games. Like it, it's in, it's in the sort of dialogue and in the text, but fortunately, there's so much fun animation here that it's like, ah, I get what he's saying. So you you do kind of win either way. You're still winning with those people. Thank you. I, even after like <laughs> playtesting this so so many times that I I when I'm watching it right now, it's almost like my eyes are numb to it. But we've we played it so many yeah. times that I'm, I'll still catch jokes that Lindsay put in that I hadn't seen in the dialogue. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's another joke in this line. I never saw it. <laughs> Aw, thanks. <laughs> it's like polygon that was- So like... I just won. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I just, I just beat yeah, that. Did. Good job. Good job. Uh, I, saw... <laughs> <laughs> I, saw, I saw that you didn't pick the middle card and I was like, oh, you're missing the, the flames. <laughs> See, I, I thought I did click it and it moved. Mm -hmm. You're so polite. <laughs> Was I supposed Griff, to click so it again? Polite. I love it. <laughs> you gotta stick with it and be a jerk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Close like Mickey. This guy's shoulders. But no, I like that we put. <laughs> I love this slowly, <laughs> dude. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Juice. Mickey got banned for his slick fingers coming up the machines. That ain't mean you gotta suffer the same fate. Oh! <laughs> this guy, yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah, you know exactly what they sound like reading their text too, which is something I appreciate. That's like, you know, you guys remember like comics in the 90s where everybody had an accent? Yeah. <laughs> and you had to write them. Like, Rogue always said eyes with like A-H, so you knew she had a thick southern like, ah, I'm really in trouble here, sugar. <laughs> S-U-G-A-H. -S uh, like, yeah, everybody had to have a very specific dialect, and some people got different fonts. Like Nightcrawler, To the point yeah. where, it, it, yeah, it kind of got exhausting, though, because eventually the letter, like, the letter boxes are all so different that you don't know where the hell to look it's anymore. There's too many main characters. There's too many Marvel characters. Yes. <laughs> Alligator cell phone, 20 You know, a good brand. <laughs> Alex is right in that I, uh, when I look at this, it's all mush to me now because I've seen it so, so many times. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> like sometimes you made art and it's like, you know, you made a long time ago and then you look at it and you're like, oh, fresh eyes. Wow, I didn't see this. From I'm like, this is not happening with this game yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I still love it. Yeah, that, the, the, the I don't remember doing that. Uh, That's a freaky feeling, of honestly. When that happens to me, I'm like, yeah. whoa, creeped out. And then you're like, wait, did I do, did I do anything in my life? Like, <laughs> whoa. Yeah, there. I think, I think, um, I guess I and Griff, I'd love to hear what you think. But I just sort of attribute it to getting into that uh, animation zone that I'm sure you're both familiar with, where you just kind of like. You get started and okay, but eventually you hit this groove where your brain just shuts off 
and it's all muscle memory and your hands are doing what they need to do yeah. and it's late at night and the scene is done and you're like great you turn it in and I feel like that is what cr creates that veil between you and the active work of the animation agreed so that when you come back to it later you're like what the when did I do this I didn't do that there's actually a term for My it called flow oh interesting yeah. <laughs> I call it the, the zone. zone. The zone. The <laughs> Uh Well, I, I like um, I like it when I look back at, and I don't remember doing it, but it's but it's also really good <laughs> when, it ha when that happens. When I'm like, oh shit, no, that's pretty. Did I really do I that? I like when my art is. That's good. pretty yeah, good. Sometimes you're in, you think you're in flow, but you're actually just in flaw, and it's all coming out kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that also happens. She's a tough customer. Who did all the music? Uh, too mellow. He's known for like. He's like a cool. Oh, sorry, oh yeah, he's known for like um. He did some like Jet Set Radio uh, remix albums. That I I was like oh, cool. oh okay this this guy's doing the soundtrack I should listen to his music and then I was like oh I actually really like this this is super good I'm excited. <laughs> He was amazing to work with. He was like, I gave him a sheet of like about like this one for example. I was like, can you write like a um, like a fake Elvis style song, but it's on a tinny speaker and kind of a bad joint? And he's like, yes. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, it's it's interesting how many of those like old school uh, OC remix like VG mix dudes and uh, gals and everyone else have like transcended and like they're bona fide composers now like t lopez uh vert who's uh jake kaufman like so many and you know mustin and from the one-ups and like they're uh incredible and they all started from that sort of yeah i just do oh remixes. yeah no jake kaufman and I um, you said bustin was the other one i remember <laughs> that in OC remix. i don't remember what mm -hmm. what track specifically but i was like i know those names yeah and they're you know big yeah. muckety bucks now uh, working on games and uh shows and all sorts of stuff <laughs> ah that happened twice Sorry, that was so cheap oh <laughs> the great thing about playing the game with the creator is you can confront yeah. them right here <laughs> do you i gotta say i would give anything to have had the developers of Hollow Knight in the room with me while I played their game <laughs> to give them a piece of my mind. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I screamed at the top of my lungs, this isn't fun! That's too Where funny. are, I remember watching the credits and screaming at their, I would like look at their names and scream each of their names. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, Todd Wranglingden, Todd Wranglingden! Just screaming, I'm like, I'm gonna remember each and every one of you, and if I ever meet you, you're getting it with both barrels for what you did. Cal calm down, Count of Monte Cristo, jeez. I, it will be forever. <laughs> Some vengeance. I will never forget. <laughs> That's what they did. Hollow Knight creators coming for you. Team Cherry, I, scared, I think, yeah. is their name. That's funny, my friend is playing that right now and was like, it's really good, you should play it, so I... It's very well done. It's an incredibly designed game, but I had no idea what I was getting into. I was like, this is such a like weird, atmospheric, beautiful little game. And then halfway through, when I had decided I'm fully committed to beating it, it just gets ball-breakingly hard. Just the worst, the meanest thing you could do. Like, they'll, They're like, oh, oh, were you enjoying that shortcut you unlocked? Yeah, because of story reasons, it's now closed off and you need to go the long way forever until the end of the game. And like that kind of stuff where I'm like, why? Why? Things were just getting somewhat simple. And like, it, uh, instead of the difficulty curve like leveling off or even decreasing, it just goes, it's just a straight line up. It's a straight single 90 degree angle line all the way up in the air. It's real, but it is a, like a, a beautiful game, and it's it's worth playing. But like, know what you get. I feel so bad. For people are like, "Oh, this looks cute." And I'm like, "It's not cute. It's the devil." I can't. It tell is the devil. Me it's want to play this character. If, if I should not. Now I'm a mirror. little interested. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm kind of interested. Hey, if if you guys are if ever like streaming or recording it, I can't wait to hear some real angry reactions <laughs> you're gonna get angry it's a mean game but it is it it genuinely is like beautiful and uh well designed and so is this character adorable 
One of the cutest characters in the game. So many details. Like that little strawberry purse, the anime shirt, adorable. <laughs> I really wanted to make the anime yeah, shirt. Yeah, I wear that. At some point. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, with, game, with indie game stuff, now that I have made a game and I can see how hard it was to make a game, like, how does literally any game ever, ever get made? Yeah, it's interesting uh, because, you know, animation people were like, yeah, toil, we get it, you toil and you labor, got it. And games people were like, you don't got it, and it's like, yeah, we got it. But then you really see where they go through, and it's like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. But no, you, have, you guys have it way, way worse. This is really hard. It's such a different, like, set of skill set. Like, I felt like we were doing the same amount of work, like, when we were working on, like, a short or something, but in all different areas. So it, like, it, it was just kind of jarring, like, as an animator, like, coming into this, like, the stuff I felt like I had to learn that I already didn't have in my pocket, you know what I mean? Like, it's a different, it's a really different mathy, more mathy skill set than I had. And you have to think of a lot of weird stuff, like, I don't know, all the, the gamifying the stuff was the hardest part for me, like sitting down and figuring out how it would work if it were like a board game, you know, like on paper or something, like, okay, well. Yeah. And doing that made me fr fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all the weird if-then scenarios. It's all the crafting of, what could the player possibly try? What are we gonna allow them to do? Oh God, I hadn't thought of that. Well, that totally destroys this other. Ah, yeah. like it's it's. You're right. It's math. It's the balancing math. for a lot of the games is a little Ugh. bit crazy. Like we would we would play it, and you know I would play it. I'm like, wow, this balance is perfect. Good job. And then uh, and then Lindsay would play it, and she'd be like, ah, this didn't work. It totally destroyed me in the first round. I was like, oh. And then you're like, oh right, everyone plays the game different. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That. That I think is probably the like my first exposure to that thought on a, on any serious level, and I know Griff can agree is playing Mario Maker for the first time. <laughs> oh man. And like playing people's levels, and I, even my wife has said it a million times. She's like, "Have these people never played a Mario game in their lives?" <laughs> There's a way this goes, and people are just like, no. And even the stuff that's like, this is the most highly rated level, you play it and you're like, this is, this is psychotic. This is psychotic. This is not fun for everyone. This is fun for the person who designed it and one other psycho. <laughs> It yeah. was so funny though, making levels intentionally just to make you angry. <laughs> That's right. We need to. We need to. I hadn't even thought of that. We've got to revisit that sometime. But yeah, Griff. I would like Griff and I, I would trade levels. I would. I would make something where a hammer bro is throwing hammers <laughs> on the only spot you're allowed to jump on, and you would just get so. Oh, in the, in Mario World, you couldn't figure out how to do the shell jump. Yes, it took me a while. <laughs> You I never, did it though. You never got it. All I had to do was put that in the level, and you. No, I did it. I can't. I did get it. I did get it. I didn't know you were an evil guy, Griffin. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, he's been so polite. And I. Like, alligator. I did. <laughs> I did beat it. He's a liar. Uh, <laughs> no, he's straight up lying. I beat it, and I also I beat. I also had to beat make a level that was taught like, him how to do it. Like I was <laughs> like, like aim the shell level. here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how dare you! I also beat your, like, you tried making an insane level that was supposed to be, like, essentially unbeatable just because there were all these randomly timed, like, rhythm elements to get past. And the trick was just, just run out of the gate, press A, yeah. and I think I, I beat it pretty quickly, and you're like, ah, oh, damn it. And I'm like, yeah, nice try. I'd like to see this. Trick, tricking me. And then the next level I made, I put a shortcut in there that I knew you'd go for. <laughs> And the That's right. I just I just wrote like messages to you in coins. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Passive aggressive, like how dare you skip my level and I make you run this really long endless path. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys should play these on Goldwyn Dinner Club so that I can view them. Um, your Kaizo levels, I would really like that, and I think you should do it. <laughs> Kaizo light. We're old men. <laughs> we did a can't do what these kids are doing. We did a similar thing to our back when um the new God was it Smash Brothers that came out, Alex, when we were like living with our roommate <laughs> yeah. Dante and we would just play Smash. The three of us were so good at Smash, it was like a little sad and pathetic. Just together we play so much. And when we could make new levels when the new one came out, we made a level we're like, Dante, why don't you go play Smash? Go go boot it up for us. And we just wrote fuck, fuck you really simply and like the the stupid thing <laughs> in, the, in the like land you could stand on. And he got, he got yeah, really yeah. 
<laughs> really? We did. We were but young. We were but babes in the, in the wind. That but. sounds like... It's like, in order to be mad at that, you need to be like a New York mobster <laughs> from the 90s or something. Whoa! Whoa! You seen that I feel like me? that's the only people who... I feel like those are the only people who really get mad when you like flip them off or swear at them. You could swear at me all day and I'd be like, okay. <laughs> fine. Tell me to F myself? Yeah, oh, great. Sure. It's funny. But if you tell Joe Pesci to F himself, you're going to have a problem. <laughs> because, and I don't know what that, there he hey, is. Hey, that guy. I haven't seen him in a while. You let him. Yay. Oh my God. <laughs> he's, he's with us in the chat. <laughs> Batman. Am I supposed to get the key? I feel like I'm supposed to get the key. She wants the she wants the Final Fantasy guy on the top. She wants Claude. Right, this yeah. right in the middle Claude's with the hair. Yeah. Sorry, Final Friend City. Oh, Claude. This is one of the jokes in the game since it's in like the tutorial oh, area oh. where they're like, um, it has some punchy stuff in it, and I feel like that's what hooks a lot of people is this game. So I'm excited that you're playing it. Claude stripes. Ha! Ha! That's a good... His hair is almost as spiky as his prickly social interactions with women. Is that not true? <laughs> That's accurate. That's well done. I'm just slamming on that guy. Now that his new game is out, you gotta keep him in his, in his britches. We've had to pass it. Also, I just love. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I love that. I was just gonna say I love her name. Sweet, sweet Geraldine. Very real. <laughs> I had a lot of fun coming up with um, fake gangster-esque names for everybody. That was everybody. a good long list. We had to had to pare down. It was so yeah. fake. There were like 40 of them, and we pared it down to just the, the 25. But... <laughs> this dialogue. <laughs> I love Tron. Um, I'm gonna reveal it. I guess I'm coming out as a Tron enthusiast. <laughs> You're that you're that one person in that scene from The That's Simpsons. Me. Anybody see the movie Tron? No, no, no. Yes. <laughs> wait, I mean no. <laughs> and I saw it way after everybody else did, like when I was in college, basically, or right after college. And I was like, so hey, anybody want to talk about the movie Tron? And they were like, what? No. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, goodbye. <laughs> Like, I definitely don't want to do that. Never, I will never talk about it. I actively never want to do it. It's like, okay. <laughs> well, my feelings are real hurt. I remember since since uh, that guy playing Train was talking about uh, the remake or sequel or whatever, like, I think watching the sequel to Tron is when I first realized I needed glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Because it was in 3D and I had a headache and I'm like, I just can't, I cannot stand to look at this one second longer. And then I think that same day I went to like a Costco, got my eyes checked. Thanks yeah. Tron Legacy. Like, yeah, here the guy at Costco was like, yup. Yeah, that's its legacy. legacy. Another legacy, bro. Huh. Let me guess, Tron Legacy? <laughs> like, yeah, sit down. Sit down, he pulls his, oh, yeah, he pulls his disc from behind his back. <laughs> sit down. Oh God. <laughs> I feel like you're probably oh, I, done with this. I always wanted to play yeah. the trolley Namco game, man, right? And I never got to, so I put it in the very, very back of the arcade. <laughs> oh, nice! It's a, it's wish fulfillment. Daryl. I also really like naming all of the NPCs. All have fun names, and that was also very fun. It was cool going back and forth. Sometimes it would be you come up with the name first, and sometimes we would come up with the drawing first. So it's like, what would an alligator named Daryl look like? Or what's this weird alligator's yeah. name? Actually, you know, we designed all the NPCs. I had the list beforehand, before I sat down, and I just like looked at each of them and was like, Daryl, George, <laughs> Robert. Lovely Maria. Her massive tail. <laughs> we were trying to figure out what a high-waisted alligator pants mom jeans would look like, and this is where we kind of ended up. <laughs> she just said that poop is yeah. cute. <laughs> Moms really think that is sick. <laughs> Huh. Aw, <laughs> the little poop. <laughs> oh wow, look at this male logo <laughs> on the side of the poster. There he is. <laughs> That's great. 
And the brodega, of course. Drying, it, it turns out drying salt, silly alligator stuff on everything is actually pretty fun. So, I, I recommend it. You, you figured out the, the perfect, for, like, 45 degree angle is apparently <laughs> the, the, a 45 degree angle triangle is, is apparently like the perfect shape for an ideal composition. So you've done it. You found the perfect animal to make a cartoon. I the gator. We decided that alligators are either shaped like a uh, open V or they're completely a uh, closed V upside down. So there's only two types of alligators. So you're either like pointed straight up or you're like got a, a V mouth open. That's true. <laughs> Those are the only two kinds. You've just unlocked a whole world of possibilities. <laughs> we did, we did between, <laughs> because we're such a small team, we don't have to like write up documents for each other for like design and stuff, but like we have a bunch of unspoken rules in the designs of these. Yeah, and, and, and because they're unspoken, I'm not even sure what they are anymore, but I know that when I start drawing an I don't remember now, yeah. We both will look at it and be like, mm, no, or like that one's not it, and or that one's, uh, yep, that's it, good job. <laughs> There's been a few times I've drawn the same one by accident. I was like, what if we do this one with this hair? And you're like, we've already drawn that guy like five times. And I'm like, oh, okay, sorry. You just wanted to see him again, it's okay. I just love those guys. So this is like, Griff, this is like the final uh, mini game. Yeah, you don't have to. End. Yeah, you could, you could save it for the very end. It's once you, once you like get to know everybody, you know their relationship. Okay. Some of it's kind of a, a mystery, some of it's like... They all give you oh, one yeah, that... at the very least, about their relationship to the chart. <laughs> yeah, you're taking notes? We... Yeah, take... You have your mist journal <laughs> that you can write your mist secrets down in. <laughs> oh, yeah. I actually did literally keep a journal. Yeah, same. Game. Same. I got so confused <laughs> about that damn clock. Oh, fuck that clock for like... sure. First off, fuck that what clock, What am I supposed yeah. to turn it to? <laughs> also, fuck that rock. And then you finally get down into that basement? <laughs> oh, yeah. And you have to, like, play the piano yeah. just the right way. Yeah, I'm not good at that. What do they think? I don't have more than one talent. I can't do that. I had the big on. map of, like, that underground railway with all of the... It was, like, each thing was, like, you could turn eight oh. ways. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Here's our guy. You only ever see their legs. Uh, so we, we're sort of at the end here. Is there any like last minute thing you want me to do to show? Actually, the next game is uh, extremely ridiculous. It doesn't take long if you want to <laughs> play Pat's safe game. Yeah. Did I go the right way to click you on did. To click on it? He says a bunch of silly shit here. <laughs> Dare, dude, assassins really exist. <laughs> I would have loved Dare if that was what it stood for. I, I still think I feel like funny. I wrote this and I'm still like, oh, sensible, sensible small laugh. <laughs> I feel like by the time they were doing Dare when I was around, they were their heart wasn't really in it anymore. No. No. I feel like they'd get up on the stage and they'd have the shirt and they'd be like, you, you know the drill, don't do drugs. They'd throw a shirt at you and just then you would just off, walk off. <laughs> Go behind the school, smoke a cigarette, and be like, stupid job. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? So this is actually one of the, the first games that I wrote uh, and kind of presented to Pillow Fight when we were talking about making the game. And I wrote this out, this whole thing. Um, and they were, it's what kind of convinced them, I think, to this was the idea to we're gonna get. <laughs> I think we're going to get booted from the Zoom oh, no. call any second. It's telling me we have less than a minute. Well, you guys are, are beautiful. Thank you for yeah. playing this game. Thanks for coming on to Goldwyn Dinner Club. It was great. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. And so, so many illuminating things just about this game, but there's so much more that I'm sure the world <laughs> wants to to know about you both so maybe we'll do this again sometime who knows uh but thank you for coming and thanks for making such a cool game and making so much cool art check out small boo yeah, yeah. Follow, follow them wherever follow you follow do people it. coward <laughs> you're challenged <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah that's a dare yeah. that's an official this challenge is a double dare. <laughs>